Now we are seeing a problem from the topic principal stresses and strains. Let's see the problem. A rectangular bar of cross sectional area of 11,000 mm square is subjected to a tensile load of P as shown in the figure. The permissible normal and shear stresses on the oblique plane BC are given as 7 Newton per mm square and 3.5 Newton per mm square. Determine the safe value of P. So here a rectangular uh, bar is given and uh, for this rectangular bar a load value P is applied and uh, we have to find out that uh, safe load value P such that on uh, oblique section BC which is inclined like this as shown in this figure uh, on this plane the normal stress should be 7 Newton per mm square and the shear stress should be 3.5 Newton per mm square. So to develop these values we have to find out the safe value of this uh, load P like this if you apply like this. So if you observe here uh, the given data area of cross section of the bar is given 11,000 mm square and uh, normal stress on oblique plane this plane on this BC. So it is given BC as oblique plane on, on this plane the normal stress is given 7 Newton per mm square and the shear stress on this plane is given 3.5 Newton per mm square. So the uh, normal stress and shear stress should be these values. So beyond this uh, it should not be. Uh, means is a permissible values is given and uh, if you observe the diagram angle of oblique plane with the axis uh, of the bar is given means if you see uh, with this it is making 60 degrees means uh, it is a axial direction so the axis of the bar is given so but uh, to simplify and uh, before that how we simplify this uh, uh, problem means so here uh, the load value is given it is a direct uh, load value it is perpendicular to this uh, member and it is a uh, case one in the principal stresses and strain that is a uh, member is subjected to direct uh, stress or load in only one direction or one plane. So in this case uh, we have to write the expression for uh, normal and shear stress on the oblique plane and uh, from that we have to find out the so that expressions will contain uh, direct stress uh, value from that we will get two uh, stress values by using these two equations for uh, normal and shear stresses from that we have to uh, take the safe stress value from that we will find out safe load value. So that is the procedure for that uh, we have to take the angle made by the oblique plane with the cross section of the bar we have to take. So that is the procedure we will follow and uh, just before that please uh, if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and uh, activate bell symbol for more updates regular updates and uh, uh, please share my videos with your friends through whatsapp or facebook or any other medium and just here i am giving the uh, just follow my facebook channel or sorry follow my channel on facebook and for that i am giving the link in the description so anyway here we have to find out first of all uh, the direct stress uh, let us take P is the strafe uh, axial load value and uh, sigma is the safe stress and here I told we have to find out the angle made by this oblique plane with the cross section. So that is a theta why because uh, we are uh, taken like this only means we have taken the theta in this direction and uh, that uh, this in this case the uh, formulas normal stress and shear stress are developed by taking theta like this. So theta we have to take the norm uh, angle made by this oblique plane with the cross section of the bar. So if you see this uh, 60 degrees given like this in the axial direction angle made by the oblique plane and if you see theta this is a required value and from this diagram or from this construction you can say theta value is 30 degrees. Why because if you see uh, this oblique plane and if you uh, this uh, dotted line and this is making a triangle. So you know total angle in the triangle is 180 degrees and uh, uh, by the construction if you see this is 90 degrees anyway and, and this is 60 degrees given and the remaining should be 30 degrees to get total 180 in a triangle. So just you can say from this construction the theta value is 30 degrees and we have assumed P is the safe value of axial pull and uh, sigma is the safe stress. So here I told we have to write the equations for uh, normal stress on this oblique plane BC uh, and shear stress uh, e uh, equations. So it is an equation for normal stress on an oblique plane which is making theta with this uh, cross section of the member. So the formula is given by sigma n is equals to sigma into cos square theta where sigma is a direct stress caused by this uh, load 
uh, and uh, shear stress is given by sigma t is equals to sigma by 2 sin 2 theta. So friends, uh, for the derivation of these formulas, please refer my previous video. So here, first of all, if you consider the uh, normal stress on this oblique plane, so it is sigma n is equals to sigma n to cos square theta and sigma n is given in the question if you see normal uh, stress on the oblique plane is given sigma n 7 newton per mm square and uh, shear stress is given 3.5. So here we require normal stress 7 is given 7 newton per mm square and sigma we have to find out and uh, cos square theta we have find out in the previous step that is 30 degrees and uh, we write uh, sigma this is goes uh, this side so it is 7 by cos square 30 and uh, cos 30 you know 0.866 and uh, it is square means uh, whole square you can write. So and if you simplify that we are getting sigma value as 9.334 Newton per mm square. So this is a stress value by taking the normal stress on the oblique plane into consideration. And if you take shear stress on the oblique plane into consideration the formula is uh, first of all the formula is sigma by 2 sin 2 theta and here is uh, sigma t the shear stress on the oblique plane is given 3.5 and uh, sigma we have to find out and uh, theta is uh, uh, 30 degrees is given. So don't substitute uh, sigma value this value here. So we have to find out the sigma value by uh, considering the normal stress and shear stress separately. So we have to uh, don't substitute this value here. So anyway so theta 30 we have find out in the previous step. So just substitute there and uh, just if you simplify uh, this we are getting sigma value one more value for sigma is uh, 8.083 newton per mm square and here we have to give the safe uh, load value means first of all we have to decide what is the safe stress value so safe stress value will be uh, least of these two why because if you see uh, the normal stress and uh, shear stress allowable shear stress value is given normal stress is given 7 and uh, shear stress allowable shear stress on the oblique plane is given 3.5 so if you take uh, this 9.334 as a safe stress, this will satisfy the normal stress criteria but it won't satisfy the shear stress criteria on the oblique plane. But if you take this 8.083 uh, as a safe stress, so this will satisfy this criteria, shear stress criteria and oblique plane and also normal stress criteria means it will uh, the uh, value will be within the limits. So the safe stress value is uh, anyway least of these two that is uh, we will take sigma value as 8.083 newton per mm square and if you from that we can write a safe value of axial pull. So we know that stress is equals to load by area or load that is safe value of load is safe stress into area of cross section and safe stress we have taken we are taking 8.083 and area of cross section of the member is given in the data it is 11,000 mm square and if you simplify that we are getting load value or safe load axial pull is we are getting uh, 88913 uh, newtons or it is 88.913 newtons. So this is the way to solve this kind of question. So don't forget to subscribe and activate bell symbol and also uh, share my videos with your friends. Thanks for watching.